We are at Okada. We gotta be quiet. It's a very, it's very fancy, fancy place, place, right? It's a very fancy place. Look at the chandeliers. Wow, beautiful. We are meeting Dr. Yu here over at a restaurant called Medley. He is treating us to a beautiful so lunch here. Yeah, it's very beautiful. We were a little we late, so late. We, weren't late. <laughs> we were late, but we weren't late. Oh, Absolutely enormous. It's so big, it has one of those mall directory sort of things, and it feels like it feels like you're in a gigantic mall. There is plenty of shops in here. Uh, I don't think we can afford any of them. No, one day, okay, guys. Just you wait. All right, I'm holding this to myself. We're gonna be in here unironically one day shopping. <laughs> Should I go out? <laughs> Wait, have you been here before? Yes. Many times? Once or twice. Once or twice. And you have you eaten at this restaurant? Yes. Okay. That's why I, re I uh, recommend it to you. Well. So I'm not even, no point asking if you enjoyed yeah, yeah. it. Obviously you enjoyed and it. I share it with you. Yeah, nice this is fantastic. We're so happy you invited us. <laughs> the experience of just coming here and seeing this place is well worth it on its own. And apparently we are going to this massive, massive fountain. That's gonna be really beautiful. Yeah, at the end, then we turn left. <laughs> uh, there's a jolly bee. <laughs> hey man, okay, finally something we can afford. <laughs> Maybe. Um, yeah. Well, I was not expecting a jolly bee to be in here. Uh, that's. That's pretty incredible. I've been to Vegas. I've, I've been to the casinos there, and it's true. They have the very high-end restaurants, and then they'll throw in McDonald's and Taco Bell. So I, I guess why did I expect any different? Okay. So there you go. There's the Jollibee. It's out here in this beautiful atrium. So even if it's raining, you can be kind of outdoors. So yes, once you've lost all your money at the casino, you want to the head on over. There? Man, you can. Why don't I have a ring like that? Yeah, yet? right? Where's my ring? Where's your ring like that? You could just wear it around your waist. That's so beautiful though. I want to make one of those one day. You want you know, TGI Fridays, of course. Uh, all the big brands are actually here. And restaurants throughout, like you won't run out of places to go. Uh, the There's fountain is the not on right now, but yeah. it might be timed. Yeah, yeah. you should eat that time they, they open. Okay, it makes sense. At night it would be on. I didn't know if it was like a big Vegas show that every 10 minutes it goes off. But, but yeah, as you can see, Texas Roadhouse here also. They got a Mary Grace right after that. That's a popular brand out here. But the fountain, as you can see, is absolutely huge. There's somebody out there cleaning it right now. Oh yeah, another one over there, another one over there. So I guess it's not gonna be going off any moment with uh, with people in there cleaning it. And they got some uh, construction going on over there. So every language is pretty much representative for this area. Uh, well, yeah, except Filipino. Um, you, you've got English, you've got Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. 
you need a reservation at this buffet. Um, and he had made the reservations early, so we're good. Yeah, perfect. Lunchtime buffet. I'm so excited. Yeah. All right. Hey. All right. Oh, look at this. Look at the crab. That is a big favorite of yours. It's, it's gonna be gone. Curry. I'm just taking the entire thing with me to the yeah. table. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Sushi tray. That's beautiful. Uh, look at that squid. It's so well done. As well. Octopus. Yeah. And then the desserts and cheeses. Are you ready? The last time, the second time I was here, I was with my wife. Oh. And it was just uh, after my graduation. So hopefully I can, and it's our anniversary on Sunday. So hopefully I can get you a good deal. Valentine's and anniversary of one. Look how pretty everything is. It's almost, it's so artistic that I don't want to eat it. But I'm sure it's so delicious that it's like a catch-22, you know? And you love red velvet. I do. I knew we were going to try this. It's called Pico. It's rice, sticky rice. Is it with chocolate? No, no. It's, a different, it's like um, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Yeah, it's one of the... in my house, but it's you not know. Wow. 
probably <laughs> such an odd thing. And that's so cool, though. Looks delicious. Wow. TV stuff. Kids here, they will be off the walls. Chocolate shards. Unbelievable. It's awesome being here right when it opens because you get to see everything and how it's like properly presented, you know, before it's all like gobbled up. All right, so we got the breads, but then here's the cheeses. And as you can see, they have a huge collection of cheese, everything you could probably imagine, and some nuts. So look at this, look at this Parmesan wheel. Wow. And oh yes, cold cuts. It looks delicious. I want to see that wheel. And some little appetizers All right. here. Which do you want to go for? All right. I'm definitely going for the fish. The fish raw crab? fish. She, she like, will eat raw right. fish all day long. The only thing I will eat. Of course. <laughs> I didn't want to get anything that was going to be too filling because we plan to really pack it in for this one. So as you can see, I have got some cold cuts here, some of the cheeses, but I got a beet salad. I've got a uh, mango cucumber salad. This is some light stuff. And then we'll move on and go a little better. When you have some salads and stuff like that, you're helping digest the future food. So here goes. Okay, so to start off, I just got a ton of raw fish and some meat and some cheeses. I, it's probably not the best plate, but it's the most delicious in my opinion. So, oh, I also got some shrimp and some green clams. I'm going the seafood route today. Like, They're not. So wine, soft drinks and beer are included with the buffet. And, well, and iced tea, yeah. And probably juices and things like that as well. Um, we will tell you what the price is uh, when we're done here, okay? So hang in there. I wanna show you what you get, and then you'll understand the value, right? Plate number two for me. This one, I changed it up a little bit. I've got turkey. Cranberry sauce, of course, some gravy. Oh, a Thanksgiving going on. I got a little Thanksgiving, that's right. Then I've got uh, a little bit of pork here, very little, but it looks delicious. It's from the Chinese section. I have a little bit of turkey going on here. Um, we've got uh, lamb, kebab, and chicken tandoori. We've got some lovely naan bread. And then I've got over here uh, hmm, tenderloin, I think it is. Yeah, I believe it's pork tenderloin uh, with some gravy. It looks delicious, so I had to have it. You're already moving. No, I can't have that. My doctors say no more. No more cholesterol. Yeah, my cholesterol. Uh, a lot of this is also on my doctor's list, but an giant piece of fat is considered a no-no, apparently. But I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that in the ring. Oh my goodness. This is the turkey. You know how long it's been since I had turkey? How long? Oh my god. I don't even know. Years. Oh wow. It's so tender. This is wow. Thing about turkey though. Is it has tryptophan, and so uh, if you eat it, uh, you will get sleepy. It is a good natural way to fall asleep. Eat turkey. Free, she's gone to get, but I got mine. 
And as you can see, I uh, really went weird on this. So I got a mac and cheese that's baked right here. I've got a beef stew, and I've got some uh, tempura here. So some shrimp tempura. It's all mixed in. You know what? I don't mind. And so far, I gotta tell you, everything has been spot on, absolutely delicious. The only thing that we found that, you know, it's still good, but not what we expected, was in the Turkish food category, the lamb kebabs. We've had some fantastic lamb kebabs before, even on Borkai from, uh, uh, what is his name? Uh, Turkish Borkai? Yeah, Turkish Borkai, uh, who offers uh, all kinds of Turkish food. So the lamb, yeah, it was okay. But otherwise, everything has been, oh, terrific. So you, you got almost the same stuff except for you added one thing. Lechon Macau. <laughs> Apparently it's the Chinese style of lechon. Roasted. Like roasted pig. Give it a little try. I'm excited. Oh! That's very good. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, it's quite lovely. It's very good. And the rest of it you got is kind of almost the same kind of stuff. Oh. <laughs> I got some like smoked fish this time and raw and crackers. Just crackers. Yeah, for your meats. How's your meal so far? Yeah, I'm already full. What? <laughs> uh oh, that's terrible. <laughs> So she got only the pretty, the colorful, the colorful the, the, pretty The pretty dessert. ones, the funky ones, and Bucci, because I love Bucci. Yes, you do. But I am going to be right back and grab another one. Oh. The, the sticky rice. Sticky Bico. Sticky uh, Bico, yeah. I'll be right Bico. back. I'll okay. take this plate. Yeah, the plate. The, yeah. You're okay. back with the sticky, sticky rice. Sticky Bico. 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 I love everything and how bite-sized it is, so you can have a little bit of everything. Okay, okay I'll go for Can I just use my hands or you... Oh, no, it's fine. It's a meat house of sticky rice and down the shrimp or some salt and some salt. Mmm! Is it nice? It's a very simple dessert, not too sweet. Perfect. Especially if you're on the go, it's perfect. I love it. Where are you going? Everywhere. That's right, that's right. Well, you I'm enjoy those myself. desserts. Look at dessert. Okay. No dessert for you. Ice cream. Hey, they look ice amazing, cream. I saw. I got the pizza. From the karmic way, they say that we... That was absolutely delicious. And it... thank you, everybody. Thank you. Wow, wonderful service. There are people everywhere looking to serve you. They have all these wines here. Everything is included here. That, that's the amazing yeah, the part in the price. Well. Yeah. Uh, now, the price. I know a lot of you are going to be wondering, hey, what is the price? Well, it is 2,500 pesos. You saw how amazing that buffet was, right? Right? Yeah, and yeah, no lobster, but everything else is kind of here. Yeah, it was really good. Sashimi and everything like that. Um, and so it's not, uh, considering this is Okada, very beautiful area, um, but comparing it to like Spiral, those kind of places, which are 2,000 more. That's pretty good. Yeah, so I think that's a pretty good price considering where you are. Considering, yeah. Value considering, for money. Yeah, value, value for, for money. money. All right. So let us know in the comments. What do you think? Do you think that this place is worth well double what uh, Vikings is? Yeah. And uh, would you? Yeah. Have you gone here before? Would you go here? Let us know in the comments. Hello, everybody. Guess what? Do you guys remember all of this? All this food that we bought in the event of an emergency? Calamity. A calamity, that's correct, in the event of a calamity as well. We don't know what's gonna happen, but if something were to happen, we wanted to make sure we had enough food to feed the whole neighborhood. So we have 150 kilos of rice and we've got 
uh, instant noodles, noodles and tons of canned meat. Lot of cans, canned stuff. Yeah, a lot of canned stuff. 